What's up, guys? This is Taking the Field with Stevie Mac, episode 32 now of the podcast. I'm your host, Stevie MacDonald, and with today's episode, I want to talk about the Atlas's offense here in the PLL Championship Series so far through their first three games, because really, for me, as a fan of the Atlas, it's almost kind of becoming a little bit unwatchable at times, and last night, I think we saw that in a big way as they got outscored 16 to, or excuse me, 15 to 6 in that one against the Whip Snakes, and for me, their offense is just really so basic and so slow in developing that it, it's actually, in a way, boring to watch a lot of the times. Like, I actually found myself being bored when they had the ball on offense last night. And really, what I've seen from them offensively through these first three games is this. What they want to do is they want to move the ball down the alley and work it to X with Rob Pinnell and have him kind of try and take his man one-on-one -on -one near GLE. And he does this kind of weird rollback dodge where it looks like he goes into a question mark and then he kind of stops and turns back and rolls back on it. And then he kind of tries to just back his way in over GLE on his defender and I think he thinks it works, but really just kind of looks like he's spinning in circles in place and doesn't actually do anything to create any sort of real separation from his defender. And all while that's going on, the middies are kind of just standing up around the two-point line, not really working to create off-ball movement or get open at all. They're kind of just standing and watching him go to work on his defender, or at least trying to. But then when the middies do actually get the ball on offense, it's basically every man for himself out there because they don't really create any two-man game situations to try and create matchups for their shooters. And you know I've mentioned it a million and one times here on the podcast. They have a lot of shooters on this team, especially in the midfield. But they don't really do anything to set those guys up for high-quality looks. And on top of that, their middies don't really dodge all that well one-on-one -on -one with their defenders either. So they just try to do their own thing, and it doesn't really feel like it's an offensive unit like you see with the Archers, the Chrome, and with the Whip Snakes. With the Atlas, it feels more like who's going to go one on six for this possession and sort of run them into another shot clock violation because they've been called for several in each of their games so far. And I think when you look at the statistics and kind of break those down a little bit, the numbers actually show that they are struggling heavily on offense. I mean, they've taken the most shots out of any of the teams here in the PLL during the championship series with 130, but they have the lowest shooting percentage at 20% overall. They also have the third fewest score total between uh, one pointers and two pointers at 27 and their third in turnovers with, I believe over 45 so far. So as I mentioned a second ago, it looks easy for teams like the Archers, the Whip Snakes, and the Chrome offensively because they do the little things right, and they have off-ball movement, they attack matchups off two-man games, and they put their guys in a position to be successful, whereas the Atlas really have their best passer, at least on the midfield, playing short stick D mid in Joel Tinney. And it's, like I said, it's every man for himself offensively at times where the ball just really kind of sticks on one guy's stick for way too long in any given possession. And it just looks like they have to scratch and claw and fight hard as hell just to get a shot off. And that's even depending on if it's a high percentage look or not. So, and then the other thing I noticed too is that they're actually the second lowest team in terms of face-off percentage at 41%, which is the second lowest in the league ahead of only the Redwoods. So I think that the face-off problems kind of play a factor in their offensive struggles as well with guys like Baptiste not winning nearly as many face-offs as we're accustomed to seeing from him. So I think that when your offense goes long periods of time not having the ball in their hands, that can kind of play a factor in it too. But still, when they do have the ball, it's not like they really do a whole lot with it. And then last night was the Whip Snakes game, as I mentioned, the Atlas and the Whip Snakes. And we saw a big difference between a team like the Atlas and a team like the Whip Snakes. And that if this is really a rivalry like they say it is with that Hopkins and Maryland connections that these teams both have, then for me, it's really lacrosse's version of Michigan versus Ohio State in football. And I think it's easy for you to figure out who's who in that comparison there. So really for me, what I want to see them do more here in this final regular season game that they have coming up on Saturday against the Redwoods and then moving forward when we get into postseason play is just move the ball. 
Like, it's that simple. Stop getting it stuck on one guy's stick for an entire possession, seemingly, and just move the ball. Make it free-flowing and get everybody involved. Work the two-man game from up top or on the wings. I'll leave that up to you. I really don't care at this point. I just want to see it. Get Tinney involved on offense. I've been screaming it since this thing started a week ago. And let him feed these middies so they don't have to try and create their own shots one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I get it. I do. I get that Rob Pinnell's your new little toy on offense and you want to play with him as much as you can and let him just kind of go out there and do his thing. But he can't be the only one getting the majority of touches on offense and being kind of that workhorse offensively. You got to get some of these other guys involved. And we've seen guys like Romar Dennis uh, score some goals out there here and there. Rob Pinnell finally put one in the back of the net yesterday as well but just make it more of a team effort instead of just one guy trying to do it all by himself so that's what i wanted to get into with episode 32 here make sure to like comment and share on this post check out all the past episodes i've done here during the championship series over the past few days by searching taking the field with stevie mac on youtube soundcloud and podchaser but that'll do it for me on this one guys i'll see you later